lovely people. Do you want to learn to knit tonight? Kitten's here to show you how. Down a little alley in the heart of Kendall Town is a tiny independent yard shop. Welcome to the wonderful world of the kitten and the goat. When you first go in to your yarn shop, you might be slightly overwhelmed by all the different things that are going on. It can be quite confusing. All you need is a basic acrylic double knitting. We keep the Wendy Supreme. It's 220 a ball, very reasonable, nice in the hands, works well. Stick to a pale colour. The paler colours don't go for the darker colours simply because it's easier to see the gaps between the stitches in the pale colours. So until you get the hang of knowing what you're looking at, you'll find it easier. You want a pair of knitting needles. Four millimetres go with the double knitting. Okay. Now I get a lot of people say to me, oh they're just starting, they want a big thick yarn because it'll be easier with a big thick yarn. I'm sorry, it's a myth. Um, with a big thick yarn, you've got so much in your hands, this is the thick yarn, this is super chunky, you've got that in your hands, and seriously, those are the needles that you've got to juggle to go with it. Your hands aren't used to holding these things. Once you've trained your hands to hold these big round things and start moving in the way you need them to move, then yes, it does knit up quicker. If you really, really, really say, well, I want a thicker yarn and it's fine, then you want to be going with a chunky. This is a chunky yarn and with a chunky yarn you are working on the six millimeter. So that'll be the yarn. I, I wouldn't recommend that for kiddies because again that is too much in the hands until they get used to it. They've only got little hands but that's your chunky weight. So anything to start you off, you don't want to be spending a fortune on a big expensive kit. You just want a cheap old ball of yarn and a pair of needles to get your hands going, get your shaping happening. Now let's have a look at some stitches for you. I have here double knitting, Wendy Supreme and a pair of, well, two odd four millimetre needles. That's the trouble once you get going for a while. They get odd. We are going to loop the yarn around those two fingers. This is your tail end. This is your ball end. This goes to the ball. We're going to loop that around there. And then this ball end, we're going to feed up through there. Okay, I'll show you that again. We're going to loop around the two fingers, and then we're going to catch hold of that and pull it up there. It's fairly important that you do pull the ball end loop through, not the tail end because it'll come to pieces if you do it the other way around. So this is the tail end. This is a loop you've made, it's a slip knot. We're going to put our needle in the slip knot and pull so that it slips up. We're not going to pull very hard, we're just going to pull so it sits around the needle. You're not going to pull on your work you're going to let the needle size make the size of the stitches. Now, this is the ball end. You're going to tuck your little finger 
like that. That just holds it out the way, you're not hanging on to it, you're not letting go every time, you're just keeping it out the way. This is the other knitting needle. You're going to hold it like a pencil. You're going to put the point in through there. You're going to wind the yarn round with this finger. And because this isn't pulled tight on the needle, you can just pull it through underneath, pull it round and put it on there. This is called casting on. I'm going to put that point through there. We're going to wrap that round. Please note I am not pulling hard. I am just making it the size of the needle. You really have to relax. The key to getting your tension right is letting the needle make the size of the stitch. Not too tight not too loose. That's tucked around my little finger, well out of the way. There's a huge great big ball of yarn on the end of that tail. Uh, somewhat there, all the yarn. So, if you find that a bit too funny, you can try putting two fingers round, exactly the same. When you start off, don't knit for more than 20 minutes at a time because your hands will get sore, they're not used to it. You've got to acclimatise your muscles. To cast on, you're putting the point through both of those. The yarn round. It'll just pull gently through that gap like that. You can take out as many times, take backwards and forwards as much as you like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm actually setting up to work a button band for another video. And I'm cheating making two at the same time. So I want seven. Now to knit, when I teach very new beginners, we cast on, we knit, we cast off exactly the same way. So to knit, you're going to put your point through there. We're going to wrap that round, we're going to pull that through, we're going to take that loop off there and leave it on this needle. This is your left hand needle, this is your right hand needle. You're going to put that point just through that first loop there, wind the yarn round and then slide it out like that nice and gently, don't pull it, still very loose you see I can wiggle my stitches about. We're going to put the point in there. You go as slowly as you need to. When you're doing this, so you don't lose anything. This this piece here, this hand, is hanging on to the needle here. This is this is rock solid, doesn't move. This hand does not move at all. This one does the work. Winds round and it pulls through. Put your point through and there you go and once you've done point once you've worked for a little while you're not quite as nervous about it and you can get a bit of speed up and that's your first row of knitting so my lovely fresh starters We've looked at how to cast on and how to knit. The knit stitch is really, really, really popular at the moment. So if you want to make a staff, all you do is cast on, knit every row and then cast off. If you want to look at a purl stitch, this is a row of knitting here. The purl goes the opposite way. You're going in to the front upwards. When you knit, you're going into the front, down and back. When you purl, you're going up and front, but the same thing. The yarn comes round, you take it through the back of the stitch. We go up front and around, 
and down. This is tucked in here, this is still hanging on exactly the same. This is holding here, round and down, round and down. And again, as you get faster and more proficient. We'll have a quick look at casting off. Obviously, once you've done all this stuff, you want to know how to cast off. It's exactly the same as working a knit stitch, except you're going to get rid of it. So we work a knit. We work a knit. You need two. You're going to pick up that side with the point of your needle. You're going to put it over there like that. You're going to do that just as if you were going to knit. There is a whole video on casting off techniques and how to get the best of your casting off. So I'm not going to go into it in great detail. I'll try and find it and put it in the description for you. But just know that if you've mastered the knit stitch, you can cast on, knit and cast off and do something. So you can start learning to knit tonight. When you get down to your last one, snip, we're going to pass that through there. And that's it. That's secure. So, have a go tonight. I hope that's helped a bit. Break it down into simple terms. I absolutely love starting beginners off. Just getting them going. It gets so much excitement, so much creativity from just taking a little bit of time out, sitting, knitting, waggling your fingers about and creating something. So, do follow along with the channel and uh, good luck with your knitting journey. We're a small independent knitting shop in Kendal. If you want to visit, we have a proper website and we specialise in helping beginner knitters. I'm a very experienced knitter and I put out a free pattern video and a technique video every month. If you want to be on the email list to get your free pattern, Kitten and the Goat Kendal. I'll put a link down below in the thing. Um, please do subscribe, tick the like box, it all helps the numbers, everything helps. We haven't hit our magic number yet, but I'm looking to hit the magic number this year. We've changed the routine slightly this year. The first Friday of the month you get your free pattern. The second Friday of the month there isn't a video, but we do a blanket club on the website and you get a square to knit for your blanket. And then the third month, the third Friday of the month is the technique pattern. So if you want to get your free patterns, be on the email list. If you've got any ideas or techniques or anything you want explained, drop me a line and we'll see what we can include. See you later.